Recently, I left the Seattle area and drove south in search of warmer and drier weather. And this sort of feels like I'm back in Seattle, but it is not. This is actually Arcata, a little town in Humboldt County, California, one of my absolute favorite places. And now Humboldt is still the Pacific Northwest, so we do have this gray weather this wet weather, so it feels a little bit like Seattle still. Now for the last few days I have been taking a little break from my southern migration, just hanging around the area here and enjoying it, because truth be told, I really don't mind a little rain, but I don't like cold, and it is a little bit warmer here in Humboldt compared to Seattle. And this being my favorite place, I've been enjoying just hanging around. But also, I did need to get to a FedEx office location. Well, I came here to this FedEx location because I needed to get some mail. Uh, I have a service that handles my mail, so all of my mail gets sent to them, uh, and then they do whatever I tell them to do with it. So uh, most of the time, I just have them open it up, and they'll take a picture of it so that I know what it is. And most of the time, that's sufficient for me. I don't need to actually get that physical piece of mail as long as I have the picture of it. So it's a great service. It works out really well. Uh, but once in a while, I need to get a piece of mail into my hands. And that was the case today. So because my service sends mail, either they'll ship me mail wherever I need them to, uh, using either FedEx or the Postal Service, uh, I usually just pick FedEx because I found them to be pretty reliable and uh, it doesn't cost any extra with FedEx if you're shipping something from FedEx to any FedEx location. So I just look around and find either uh, what they used to call Kinko's, uh, now they just call them FedEx office locations, uh, or a FedEx shipping location and I'll just have them send my mail or my package there and then I pick it up there. So I had to do that today and had a debit card that was sent to me so I had to get that in my hands. And yes, I do know about general delivery, sending something to a local post office. I've tried that twice and twice I've had packages disappear and the post office says, we can't help you, we don't know what happened to it, you're out of luck, go away. Some people have had good success with it. I obviously have not. So FedEx works for me. Well, with it being such a gray, rainy day out, I'm not real excited about doing any hiking or anything outside. But maybe since I'm in town here, I might as well just stock up on things that I need. There's a Target here, so I'll go over there. Uh, maybe I can get groceries today too. Might as well take advantage of the fact that I'm in a bigger city that has stores that I like to shop in. So um, head over to Target right now because I'm closest to it. Okay, so now that I'm here at Target, I'm not really sure why I came to Target. I don't think I need anything here. Uh, I think it's because I like Target as a store and so I just came here out of habit. Um, but I'm here, so I might as well go in. Um, the restrooms in the store are usually fairly clean, so I'll do that. And then sometimes they have good sales on coffee, which I normally check online before I drive over. But I'm here, so I'll go in, check sales for coffee, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Well, they didn't have any coffee on sale, and I didn't really see much else in there that I needed. Uh, they did have some sheets on sale, which I almost bought. I had been looking for a good set of flannel sheets, but I didn't like the color, so I decided uh, the color may uh, annoy me after a while. But it was mostly white, and uh, I, I think white sheets just look dirty after a while, so at least the way I do laundry. Um, 
So I'm going to pass on those, although they were a good deal, so it's kind of hard to pass up on those. Um, I'm a little uh, disappointed I didn't see any coffee on sale, but um, maybe we'll have better success at Grocery Outlet, which there is a Grocery Outlet here in town, so we'll head over there and see about that. Uh, there was a 60% chance of rain today, and I was kind of hoping that it wasn't going to be a full-on rainy day, but there we go. This is the Pacific Northwest, so welcome to Humboldt. My hopes for the weather not being too terrible today are, I guess, completely dashed. It seems like uh, the rain is getting worse and worse the longer we go here today. Oh well. So I've been in this grocery outlet before and it's always a little odd. They just have some strange things that they stock. And it's also not stocked quite like other uh, grocery outlets I've been to in the past. Um, so it wasn't the best experience. Uh, plus, I did the cardinal mistake of going in before I ate something. So I uh, bought uh, kettle chips, which I keep saying I got to get out of the habit of buying these. But I bought them again just, uh, oh well. Um, I went in for some ground beef, which I found, so happy about that. Uh, wanted some eggs, which uh, were expensive at the other stores around uh, where I've been staying the last few days, so um, got some eggs. And happy, I found some dates. I've been looking for dates, and these were probably a little more expensive than I would have liked. I think they were $4 for this pack. but really been on a date kick lately so in fact I'm gonna open them up right now because again I didn't eat anything yet <laughs> these will come in handy right now hmm. oh I forgot I bought some guacamole too this is a buck 99 uh, it looks really good and looking at the ingredients it actually has lime juice real lime juice so that sold me the price and the fact that it has real ingredients. You know, usually they add a little bit of acidity with citric acid instead of lemon or lime juice. And uh, I just think it tastes artificial. So much better with real stuff. So um, why didn't I buy more than one of these? Yeah, I think I'm going to make a quick grilled cheese sandwich. I have some bread I need to use up. I bought this at the uh, co-op in Arcata, and uh, it's okay. Um, it's good quality bread. It's just, um, I don't know, it's, it's full of holes, and it doesn't have a real strong sourdough flavor, so I was a little disappointed in it. But if I fry it up with some... Uh, good butter and melt some cheese in it. In other words, grilled cheese sandwich. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, this rain is never going to let up today, is it? With all this rain out here, I should probably be smart and swap out my shoes. I wear these Ultra Lone Peak uh, hiking shoes. I really like these shoes. Uh, they're not perfect, but I really like them. Um, as you can tell, they're shaped like my foot, and that allows my toes to spread out uh, and gives me much more stability, and I just find these shoes to be really, really comfortable uh, to walk in. Um, but 
they're not the greatest shoe when it's wet because there's no waterproof membrane to them. So uh, they're really a summer type shoe, although they do dry out really quickly if you do get them wet. Uh, but we've got several days of rain in the forecast here, so don't want to get them wet because they probably won't ever dry out well, at least not for a few days. So I'm going to swap out to my other shoes here. These are a pair of Ultra uh, boots, and these are Lone Peaks as well, same kind of model, uh, an older model of my shoe. Uh, but these are high tops, obviously, and they also have a waterproof membrane in them, and they're they're pretty good. Um, they're not, I don't think they're completely waterproof, uh, but they are really, really good, and especially in weather like this, uh, they're highly useful, because if they do get wet, I won't have to worry about taking them apart and airing them out and getting them dry, because that's an issue. Um, Again, especially because uh, we've got several days of rain ahead. Well, these rainy days are always a bit of a problem for me because I want to be outside walking around. And even though I've got my waterproof boots on now and my waterproof jacket on, uh, it's pretty wet out. And it's actually fairly cold too. At least it feels cold. I think it's actually 50 degrees. Fahrenheit, but um, it feels a lot colder than that. So I don't necessarily want to be out and about. So I think I'm going to just do my old standby, which is just go shopping. And I should put that in quotation marks because uh, I don't really need to buy anything. I'm just going to go walking around some stores and uh, that way I can be moving around uh, but not get cold and wet. Well, I went into Walmart here because I've been looking for uh, another couple of pairs of pants that I wear. Can I get those in frame? These things. These are uh, cargo pants, and I just like just regular black cargo pants. I need the pockets, and I want them to be 100% cotton, which these are. Uh, these are Wrangler brand. And I found a few at Walmart, I found a few at Target, uh, but I've been looking for at least a couple more and I just haven't been able to find my size. So whenever I'm by a Walmart or a Target, I like to run in and just see if I can locate another pair that are my size, but no luck today. But what I am lucky about is look at the sun out. Uh, rain is gone and it's actually pretty decent out. So I think we should take advantage of this and get out and walk around a little bit, right? So almost directly across from Walmart here is a state park. It's called uh, Fort Humboldt State Park. So uh, it's a nice little place to walk around and it's only a few feet away. So let's go over there and I can get out and walk because I'm getting antsy to, uh, to walk around. Walking around Walmart in a mall just really doesn't work for me. Take the second right onto US 101 South. So this is it. This is Fort Humboldt State Park. Uh, there's a lot of uh, history that you can get up close to and look at here. Kind of a neat little area. They've um, kept things as they were uh, years ago. So I guess it would be a good place to bring kids just to show them what it was like in the past. Uh, I like this spot more for the view because once you walk over to the edge of this little property, get a nice view down to uh, Arcata Bay below. So I think technically here the water that we can see off in the distance is not actually Arcata Bay. Uh, it is a little stretch of water that uh, sits between Arcata Bay and Humboldt Bay. I just mentioned that because people like to get after me for not being 100% correct on all the little things that I say, on all the little places that I am uh, along the West Coast here. You know, I, I keep my travels pretty much to the West Coast of the U.S. 
up and down California up to Washington uh, and that's a big area so it's hard for me to remember all those little things but uh, you know when I can I do try to be factual <laughs> one thing about this area is it is really noisy uh, Eureka here this little town is uh, constantly buzzing and it's not really my favorite place uh, I do really love Humboldt, but Eureka just has kind of a busy, busy vibe to it. Uh, this area, though, this is a pretty nice place to be. It's much quieter up here. It was nice and clear and sunny for a few minutes there, but it's starting to sprinkle again. That is not going to stop me. I'm going to keep on walking. Oh, this is such a beautiful place. I'm glad the rain let up a little bit. It's able to get me outside at least for a few minutes. If I don't walk at least a bit every day, I get pretty grumpy. Uh, but I am getting cold. Uh, the temperature is dropping a little bit as the sun is setting. So maybe it might be a good time to make some food. All I had was that little sandwich. Yeah, food. I think that's a good idea. And right on cue, as soon as I get back in the van here to make some lunch slash dinner, the rain starts. So, coming down pretty good now. Um, I should have bought some vegetables when I was at Grocery Outlet, but they didn't look very good, so I skipped them. Now I wished I had some. Um, I have my fridge freezer still running just as a fridge and not as a freezer, just because I'm still in the Pacific Northwest and there's not a whole lot of sunshine to be had. So uh, I don't have any frozen vegetables, so I'm kind of missing those. Um, but I've got a couple things in the pantry, and I also have uh, some leftover uh, pasta sauce that I can use up. So I think I'm just going to do this. Um, I have some polenta. I haven't had polenta in years, but I'm going to give this a try. Hopefully it's still okay. I bought it a while back. Well, the best buy date is, is uh, still a few days off. Or is it? No, I guess the best buy date is passed doesn't really matter to me. Let's open it up and see what it tastes like. Well, I've got it opened up. I thought I'd give it a smell and see if it smelled bad. It doesn't seem to smell at all. I guess that's a good sign. Uh, it is a little beat up because it was sitting down in my under bed storage bag with all my uh, kind of backup food. Uh, but I think it's okay. I'm just gonna slice some up here and give it a little pan fry. Okay, so I fried off those bits of polenta and got them browned on both sides and then I uh, just put some pasta sauce over it and I've got a little cheese here I was going to add to it. Let that melt a little bit while I clean up my pan here. So I have this carbon steel pan and uh, it's a little bit like cast iron when you're trying to uh, clean it and use it. Um, personally, I think it's easier to handle than a cast iron pan, but that's just my preference. Um, 
they're probably about the same, really. I just prefer the uh, carbon steel over a cast iron. But um, there's a bunch of things that people say about either cast iron or carbon steel. They say things like you can't use uh, tomato sauce in them. Uh, and I've had this pan for quite a while now, and I gotta tell you, I use this for everything, and I have not found any reason why somebody wouldn't want to put uh, tomato sauce in it. Um, I've cooked all kinds of stuff, and as long as your seasoning is good to begin with, uh, there really is no reason to worry about what you can and can't cook in it. So all I do is, when it's still hot, I get some water in it, just plain old water, and I scrub it out with this little uh, core brush. This is a brush that's made out of um, uh, coconut core, so that's the outside of coconuts. And it's really good because it's got some good texture to it, so I can scrape off any little bits of food that might have stuck on there if I was frying something, like I was here just now. Uh, and that is usually enough. And then all I do is I'll just wipe it out. Um, and I take a look at my seasoning, and it looks like my seasoning is perfectly fine in this case. Uh, I don't see any reason why I'd have to be uh, worried about it, but if I was, I would just take a little bit of oil, put it back in the pan, put the pan back on the heat, and heat it up a little bit. I keep a bag with a little piece of a towel that has some uh, oil in it. And once I get done with the cleaning process here, I'll just wipe this around onto the pan and get a little bit of oil back on the pan. And uh, for this case, I think this is good enough. I don't need to do anything to it. Then I'll just let this sit, put this aside, let that sit. And uh, oh, I mention that because people like to tell me all these things that I can and can't do with my uh, pan here. and. Like I said before, uh, I have not found a reason that I need to mind what I put in the pan or use it in any special way. It just seems to work uh, for me no matter what. Okay, now let's give my dinner a try. Hmm. I think the cheese and the pasta sauce helps, but now I remember. This is why I don't buy polenta very often. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> well, this is a nice little spot. This is one of those spots that I really try to find when I'm hanging out in an area that I don't really know. Uh, these are little areas that may not show up in a guidebook or something. Uh, not really what people talk about too often, but um, if you're around an area like this, these are usually some of the best places to hang out, in my opinion, at least in uh, living van life. Uh, this is the kind of place I like to hang out. So I'm happy I got to spend a little time here without it uh, raining like crazy on me, and it's been uh, a pretty decent day today. So I think I'm going to uh, end this here and uh, go look for a place to park tonight. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You didn't think I forgot to make coffee, did you? Not a chance. Not a chance.